What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Pokedristy here, bringing you guys a team builder episode for our learning laddering series. Now, our first team builder that went up was uh, a team builder slash introduction video to the channel slash series introduction, you know kind of video for you uh, this one is actually just gonna be a strictly a team building video uh, we will be building a UU team today so if you guys have not already make sure that you hit the like button the subscribe button and comment down below I want to know what your uh, what your Pokemon and UU of choice is I want to know what you guys would like to see me use in a UU video a little bit later on now this team is gonna be used in both of the UU videos that go up this week uh, OU will go up on Monday as per usual and uh, on Tuesday you will see this team in the UU tier now I'm really excited to team build for UU because last time we did some UU battles it was really fun I had a good time with it I enjoyed some of the Pokemon that we used uh, the video that we uh, the videos for the UU will be down in the description below along with every other video that's been uploaded to the channel all the playlists for every tier will be down there in the description so make sure you check that out also my twitter will be down there follow me over there and uh, I will let you guys know whenever a video goes live or if we have any issues and I can't upload a video on that day that is the place that I will be telling you all so Jumping into the team builder here, I'm really excited to build for you. You, I'm really, uh, you know, I was really happy with the team we built last time. If you guys weren't familiar with it, it was Toxic Rogue, Don, Fan, Hydreigon, Sharpedo, Slurpuff, and Cresselia was the team we built last time. Now, that team was pretty good, and we had some success with it. So hopefully, this team will be just as good, and we can have just as much success with this team as well. Uh, now, I do want to start with a Mega Pokemon, um, and my first thought was Mega Pidgeot because it usually, uh, I think it just recently got banned because the last time I tried to play Showdown, uh, you know, a few months back when I tried to break into Showdown, I guess you could say, Pidgeot was in Yu-Gi-Oh! and I actually used it and really enjoyed uh, using Pidgeot. It seemed like kind of a fun Pokemon. I think it's BL now. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it is. So I know that regular Pidgeot is UU, uh, but Mega Pidgeot is, I believe, BL. So that is not usable. So today, you guys can already see uh, where my cursor is. is right here on our friend Beedrill now. The reason I'm using Beedrill is because uh, if you guys haven't already you know, been told in other videos, I'm a big Gen 1 fan. Uh, when Beedrill, when I found out Beedrill was getting a Mega Evolution, I was kind of disappointed because I, I personally liked Butterfree better than Beedrill. Uh, probably because of the anime, but that doesn't matter. I actually liked Butterfree better, so I was kind of like, I wish Butterfree would have gotten some love. But Beedrill got the love, and uh, Beedrill's Mega Pokemon is, or Mega Evolution, I should say, is a pretty big threat in the UU tier, I think. I think it's got a lot of viability here. Um, I think it's found its niche here in, in UU. I think it's found its home. So uh, we are going to choose Beedrill. We are going to go Mega Beedrill. So we are going to give it the Beedrill it. Yeah, the Beedrill Light. And uh, his ability is adaptability, I believe, uh, when he Mega Evolves. So uh, that doesn't matter. His shiny is green and his shiny is disgusting. So we're not going to make it shiny. Uh, we are going to give it uh, his regular moveset. I mean, this is his basic... Um, move set. So I'm actually going to give it Poison Sting instead of Poison Jab because actually uh, the thing about Poison Sting, I'm just kidding. We're giving it Poison Jab. Uh, poison Jab, U turn. Uh, I put U T. It's just you. U turn uh, and then Drill Run, I believe, is what people run on it as well. We're going to give it Drill Run and we are also going to give it Protect. And the reason people run Protect on B Drill is because that first turn you're not going to be fast. Uh, it takes one turn for your speed to get jumped up into the insane range if you're Beedrill. So, we are going to go ahead, and that looks about right for Beedrill. I guess that he's going to be a, a jolly Beedrill. Um, actually, I kind of want to run Adamant. I feel like Beedrill is fast enough when he Mega Evolves. So, I kind of want to run an Adamant Beedrill. I don't know if people actually do that, but I actually want to. I actually want to give it a shot here and run an Adamant Beedrill, and we're going to see if that, uh, if that works. If not, then uh, that's a mistake. So our next Pokemon of choice now, uh, we are going to see what we can do. Uh, I feel like I've got a good idea of who I want to use on this team. Uh, just from some, you know, watching some videos of some guys playing UU. And uh, I feel like I want to use Feraligator now. Feraligator is a really scary Pokemon. He's a really big threat to a lot of teams. So I want to try him out. I think I'm going to give him Leftovers? No, no, no. I'm going to give him Life Orb. Uh, I think a lot of people run Life Orb, so I think that's what I'm going to give him. Uh, we give him Sheer Force. His attacks with secondary effects, like a burn or like a poison or like whatever. Uh, so, first move we're going to give him is Dragon Dance to set up. Uh, setting up is always nice. We are going to give him Waterfall. 
because it does have that uh, secondary effect, that chance to flinch. And we are going to give it crunch because crunch also has a secondary effect. And we are going to give it, uh, what is this last move that he usually runs? Um, I'm trying to think of it. His last move that he usually runs is Ice Punch. Okay. I had some of these written down that I wanted to use for sure. Uh, for Alligator, Beedrill, and Chandelure were on that list. So I'm going to go ahead and give it Ice Punch. And I kind of just spoiled the next Pokemon for you guys. Uh, I actually went ahead and built those three into the team builder just so I wouldn't forget them. Uh, Ice Punch was the last move. And uh, it is an Adamant for Alligator with a Life Orb. That is pretty threatening. Uh, the next Pokemon, like I said, we're going to use is Chandelure. Now, Chandelure is uh, a really interesting Pokemon in this tier because you can run Specs or you can run Scarf. I decided that I want to run a Scarf Chandelure. Um, and I think I might want to use another Pokemon with Specs a little bit later on in this team. Uh, so, I, I kind of... Yeah, I think Scarf's the way to go. I think Scarf's fine. Uh, so, we're going to give it... Uh, I believe Trick. Uh, if you guys watched our NU videos, then you would have seen our Road to Mo with Trick. And uh, actually, was it RU? It was RU. If you guys saw our RU videos, pardon me, uh, then you would have seen our Road to Mo with Trick. He, he did a he did a number on somebody's team. Uh, we actually were able to trick a Choice Scarf onto an Amoongus, which was always nice. So this thing's gonna have Trick. It's also gonna have Fire Blast. Uh, if I could spell Fire Blast right, then he'll have Fire Blast. Uh, I'm going to give him Fire Blast despite wanting to give him, you know, Flamethrower or something a little more, uh, something a little more accurate. I'm going to give him Fire Blast because usually I'm a little more safe, but I don't, I don't know. I think I'm just going to, we're just going to see if Fire Blast can uh, pay off with that extra damage. So we're going to give it Shadow Ball as well. And the last move on Chandelure, I'm actually just going to check what I wrote. Uh, the last move on Chandelure is actually going to be... Energy Ball. Uh, energy Ball is for Suicune, basically. Uh, Suicune is kind of a big problem. Actually, it can be for Swampert, too. I do need a Grass move on this team, so uh, we're definitely going to go ahead and do that. Now, Chandelure Shiny is pretty cool. It's actually orange, uh, and I kind of like it, but I'm actually just going to stick with regular Chandelure because I like it better. So our next Pokemon that we're going to pick is... Uh, our next Pokemon that we're going to pick... I actually don't know. I actually don't know what I want. I, I think we definitely need a wall on the team. So I'm, I'm thinking about Aggron. I'm definitely thinking about Aggron. I don't know how... I don't know how viable Aggron is if he's not a Mega Aggron. But I, I think... I'm going to look a little bit farther down. There's always Cresselia, but we did use her last episode. And I don't really know if I want... If I'm crazy about, you know, using uh, the same Pokemon in, uh, in two sessions. I could always go with Porygon 2... Porygon 2 is actually really interesting. I could always go for Porygon 2. Do I want to do that? I could always go with Porygon 2 for... With an Eviolite. I could I could put an Eviolite on it and it would uh, be a really bulky mon. But I, I don't think I want to do Porygon 2. It's going to give me a... Uh, I don't know. Um, and then there's Umbreon and there's Snorlax. Now Snorlax, I could run Curse Lax. Uh, which is interesting. I'm actually, you know what, I think I'm just going to run Umbreon. Uh, Umbreon's a really good wall. It's, it, it really is. It's a really good wall. So I'm just going to give it leftovers. It's uh, it's actually really nice for my team, actually, because, um, you know, for Alligator doesn't appreciate a burn. Beedrill doesn't appreciate a burn. Uh, you know, so anything like that, we can go ahead and get rid of it. So I'm going to go ahead and give it Heal Bell here. Uh, so Heal Bell is going to cure the status conditions on the team. I'm going to give it Heal Bell, Wish, uh, Protect and foul play that is just the standard Umbreon set uh, pretty you know simple set to run there and uh, we're gonna make it specially defensive Umbreon and uh, that that looks fine to me uh, calm I guess is the right nature so Umbreon it is and now I'm going to need I feel like I really need a special attacker but I kinda wanna get a physical wall first there's one <laughs> I actually I've never used a chestnut so I'm actually gonna use chestnut I'm actually going to use a chestnut. I've never used one before. I'm going to give it leftovers. Um, Overgrow ability seems nice. Grass attacks do plus one damage, which is nice. So, let's see. What do people run on chestnut? I know people run spiky shield. Uh, oh, we get spikes too. Okay. Uh, I guess people run spikes. 
if he's if he's bulky, then he can actually help me put up some hazards. Uh, I'm, sh I'm assuming he doesn't get toxic spikes. He doesn't, so that's fine. Um, spiky shield spikes. Uh, what else do people? Um, maybe leech seed or synthesis for recovery. Uh, I'm actually gonna go with leech seed. I'm actually gonna give him leech seed to maybe kind of put some Pokemon on a timer. And then what's his strongest stab? What's his strongest stab grass move? Because I can find another fighting type move. Hmm. I can put another fighting type move on another Pokemon, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and give him a strong grass move. Does he get Seed Bomb? He does get Seed Bomb. Uh, is that it? Oh, he gets Wood Hammer. That's right. I was wondering, because uh, I thought he got a really strong grass move. It's Wood Hammer. Uh, the recoil is kind of scary on that move, but um, I think that's going to work. We're going to go ahead and do that with him. Uh, I guess that sets right. It's physically defensive. That's what I want. So we're going to go ahead and uh, rock out with Chestnut as well. Now, our last Pokemon needs to be a special attacker. I'm kind of thinking about a couple of different Pokemon right now. I'm kind of thinking about. Um, I, I just I don't really know. I could have gone with Cloyster for a defensive ball as well. That would have been kind of interesting. A Shell Smash Cloyster. I might have to actually use that in a later episode. But I, I'm happy with Chestnut. I've never used one, so I want to use him. Um, I could go with a special Crobat. <laughs> I actually saw that on, uh, I don't know if it was Thunder Blunder or uh, Joey Poke Games video, but uh, they used a special Crobat. I think it was a Hita Fajita, actually. They used a special Crobat. It was really funny. Um, I don't know that it's, it's extremely viable. I could go with Empoleon as a special attacker. Now, that's not a terrible idea. But we do have Relegator, so I guess it is a terrible idea. I could go with Espeon. Um, Espeon's kind of nice. I don't know exactly what he does for my team, though. I kind of feel like I need an Ice type for some dragons in this tier. I kind of feel like I need an Ice type. I kind of feel like I need an Ice type. Um, let's see. Who is a good Ice type in the tier? I, I feel like I might need an Ice type Pokemon. I know I've said that four million times, but I actually think that I do. Um, let's see. So, see, there's a lot of flying types in this tier that are scary. Uh, much like, you know, a Honchkrow or a Gligar uh, with an Eviolite or even a Salamence or things like that that are really scary in this tier. So I kind of want to be careful. So I feel like I need a, uh, a special attacker as well. So I don't know. I know Mamoswine is there, but Mamoswine is a physical attacker, and I don't really want another physical attacker. We've got a team full of them except for uh, for Alligator, I guess. I could go with Tentacruel and give it Ice Beam, but his special attack isn't good anyway. I could go Vaporeon and give it Ice Beam as well. Frostlass is always here. Hmm. So we're going down into BL2 now. I think I think it might be Frostlass. Uh, it's either Frostlass or Kyurem, and I do already have a Ghost type on the team uh, being Chandelure. So I don't really need another ghost type on the team. So I'm actually, I think I'm just going to go with Kiram. I don't know if Kiram like, is used at all in UU. I don't even know what set he likes to run. Um, maybe I should go to Smogon and see. I'm actually going to go to Smogon and see really quick what set he wants to run. I'm going to pause the video really quick. I'll be right All right, guys. We've got the set. Now, I am kind of conflicted because I don't know whether to give it a choice scarf or choice specs. Uh, that is kind of an issue for me. I'm not 100% sure what I want to give it, what item I want. I feel like a Choice Scarf would be nice, but I already have a Choice Scarf on Chandelure, so if I want to do that, I feel like I need to switch them up. Um, maybe if I end up having a problem with it, I can just do that in a uh, like mid-episode change. But I'm actually just going to give it Choice Specs for right now. Um, and I know his move set is Draco Meteor. He runs Ice Beam as well for Stab Ice. He runs Earth Power as well for some, I guess, Fire types or Electric types that want to come in. And he also runs... What was the last move that he ran? What was his last move? I completely spaced on his last move. Was it... Was it... It was Flash... Was it Flash Cannon? I think it might have been Flash Cannon. Actually, I think I want to give it Focus-wise because I said earlier, we do kind of have... Well... No, I think, I think Focus Blast is fine, actually. I think Focus Blast is fine. I don't like the chance that it had to miss, but I do think Focus Blast would be okay. Um, yeah, I think Focus Blast would be fine, so 
I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to give it its EVs because it's saying that it wants it to be a uh, a bulky specs and I don't really want a bulky specs I want to be fast so we're gonna go uh, 252 in attack or I mean uh, 252 in special attack sorry and uh, 252 in speed and we're gonna go get for it in HP I kind of want to give it a speed racing nature since we already have specs that might be really stupid of me to do that but I, I kind of want to do that I'm gonna give it a speed raising nature since we already have specs on it and I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a low uh, attack lowering nature uh, so it's gonna be timid um, I think that's probably the best thing that I can do with it so uh, the team looks good I kinda wanna see what Kieran Shiny looks like oh that's pretty cool I guess we can leave it shiny what about chestnuts I've never actually seen some of these Pokemon shiny before uh, it doesn't look really different actually what happens to his face why does his face change when he's shiny? You guys see that? Is it like his shell comes down? Or... Like, because watch his face right here. That's really weird. I actually want to leave him shiny just because of that. Uh, and Umbreon, I know Umbreon shiny is pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and give Umbreon shiny as well. Uh, which is the most... <laughs> it's the most useless thing that I can sit here and talk to you guys about is shiny Pokemon. But um, we're going to run through the team really quick before we get up out of here. Uh, if, if you're interested in Beedrill shiny here, look. Isn't it just the worst shiny in the whole entire game? I think so. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, we're going to run through the team really, really quick. We got Beedrill. Hold the Beedrill Light. It is going to get the Adaptability ability uh, when it mega evolves. It has got Poison Jab, U-Turn, Drill Run, and Protect. Uh, you guys can see its EVs right here. I'm actually going to put them right there for you guys to look at. Uh, so, there you go. Uh, we have Feraligator up next. Uh, holding the Life Orb. Sheer Force as his ability has Dragon Dance, Waterfall, Crunch, and Ice punch uh, his EVs are down there he's an adamant nature uh, we have Chandelure who is a oh my goodness I didn't give him an EV spread I did not give Chandelure an EV spread so I'm gonna give it uh, his EV spread right now that would have been really bad uh, but we have Chandelure holding the choice scarf with a flash fire ability with trick fire blast shadow ball and energy ball uh, as you guys can see I already gave him a spread he is timid uh, I'm gonna change that to uh, a special attack raising nature since we already have a scarf on him we're gonna be a modest Chandelure and he's gonna deal a lot of damage Oh my god. Um, we have Umbreon next. Uh, holding leftovers with Synchronize as his ability. He has Heal Bell, Wish, Protect, and Foul Play. Next up we have Chestnut, who is a shiny chestnut. Look at that face. You can tell by his face that's really still weird to me. I don't understand. I don't know if it's just like a glitch in Pokemon Showdown or what the deal is with Chestnut. But we have Chestnut holding the leftovers with the Overgrow ability. He has got Spiky Shield, Spikes, Leech Seed, and Wood hammer and last but not least we have the godly dragon Kiram. Kiram is holding the choice specs with the pressure ability draco meteor ice beam earth power and focus blast it is also shiny as well so i said also and as well that is a very redundant statement by me <laughs> also uh as well uh, anyway if you guys enjoyed this video make sure that you uh leave a like button i i don't know why i'm being so stupid in this video if you guys i said leave a like button didn't i god if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Let me know what you guys want to see me use in UU next time uh, after this team has run its course. Let me know what you guys want to see, and I will do my best to oblige you and give that to you. Uh, but with that being said, guys, I'm going to get up out of here. I'm going to go record some battles, and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out.